Well, hello and a welcome to everyone here. Today we're going to play a game, five minute game, and we're going to talk about some key concepts in, in chess. Position, positional play. You know, a lot of calculation is, is really about tactics and material advantage and things like that. But most games are all about positional tactics. What's a positional tactic? This is kind of an example of one. Is it a, a good tactic or a bad one? What do you guys think? It, uh, I would say it's a bit controversial, to be honest. And, and my experience in chess would tell me that it's a bad decision to advance it forward. Typically backfires because now I start undermining the root of the pawn chain. Gain a lot of space too. That's as well there. I have space advantage, and uh, yeah, this bishop, he's in my territory, but he is very awkward, very awkward piece. So we can already ask him a question, and then adapt accordingly. So our play should be super straightforward. I, you know, I wanted to give a lot of positional uh, knowledge in this game, but now I really have to assess more concrete tactical possibilities because, um, because there is, you know, all these pieces are pointing at the enemy king. So there definitely is room for a big, big attack right now. And you've got to put it on the board. You've got to put it in the mind of the opponent. What now? These pawns are warding off this these knights really well. So I think it's uh Yeah. What do we if what if we just take it right away? That that's too much. Too much. That's too much. If we capture on Passar. Can we pressure the spawn enough? I don't see how, really. So I'm going to actually invite him to, to play moves like this. And we might end up in a closed position. But I, I do feel I have more space. Space advantage is to be factored in here. I have more space. I have the, the triangle is in my side. It, it I mean, it's he's got this kind of shitty setup. So I have the trumps. It's just about how to use that. Let's try to slide in with the queen. Might retuck the knight might push this pawn up. Those are the kind of ideas that are currently forming in the mind. Okay, he's blocked a lot of that. He's buffered up his king. Let's um, let's admit the fact that uh, there's not going to be anything going on here. Okay, let's ask this pawn a question. You can always ask it at the last second, actually. Uh, now we definitely take it. Now we have an open file. So positional play, uh, open file is a great thing to have in positional play. Just straight out, straight up, uh, telling you the facts. I was going to tell you the main concept of how to evaluate a middle game position is how many squares do you control? How many squares do you have the control over with uh, the mixture of your pawns and your pieces? Like, uh, this one has a lot of good sight here. I'm liking it. But he he is trying to get control of, of the queen side. And we should not allow that. He's trying to invade the position. Uh, the bishop pair is lovely, but it's not enough. 
the main edge that I have is control over this file. So I want to reinforce that. I want to double up pieces. I want to triple up pieces on it. That's how I want to play this game. Rook sliding into the seventh is a positional trump for my opponent. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. Let's go knight back and then tuck the rook here. Let's see if he really wants to play g4 uh, just yet. Because my hope is that I get the rook out of the way. Then king can slide down here. And, and then we play it like that. Okay, we want to control this file. This is our file. What else? Now we somehow got to play this right. I'm going to push this up because I am really just a bit wary of this whole thing. It's not working out. I think I'm going to have to tuck the king in here, which will block the bishop from that support. So I'm going to reinforce it with the pawn. I'm risking that uh, the position might open up unfavorably, but I don't think it's such a factor because the rook won't won't be able to come in from here so quickly. He's already committed to one side of the board now. I don't know. Okay, he's getting his bishop out of the way. Okay, let's do this. Uh, let's play. Yeah, he's playing it well. Let's let's handle this rook now. It's time. <clears throat> okay, let's try to get our knight here. This is a nice looking square. Try to get our bishop here, maybe hit on some pieces. Still active. This is also still active. The play is starting to synergize well. I, I think this is going well right now. Maybe bishop here is pretty good square. But really, we just got to block the management of these rooks. If we throw a spanner in the works, this is going to count for something. Okay, we've got to play fast ship. Okay, we can play this game fast. That's one thing we can do. Okay, it's basically just a drawn position. I don't think he's going to try to be too ambitious. Uh, although he might. Okay, it's basically a draw. I'll offer a draw.
I know he knows it's a draw. We all know it's a draw. It's just uh, there's a little bit of a time equation at play here. Okay, now we might actually lose the game. Okay. Well, I offered a draw. I was... You can't out blitz me like that. But it was a good game overall, and who cares about the result? Yeah, sure. Sure, I went on tonight, but it doesn't matter. Overall, it was a lovely battle. Um, pretty evenly fought. I think I, I liked my position slightly more, but it was so fractional that I don't think it really matters. It was basically... Uh, Basically a draw right around there. I, I, I had the edge. You can't see I had the edge. I definitely had the edge, but it was not some super edge. Oh, and perhaps I should have taken with the pawn here. Taken with the pawn, king up, bishop here. You know, that's a bit more invasive. True. Good point. 